what's up? Back again with another workout video. Today we're doing a shoulder and arm workout. Normally like to split my workouts up between like an upper body day, a leg day, and then like a push pull day, but I injured my chest a few days ago. And also too, I've been doing a shoulder and arm day just because I'm trying to build up those areas a little bit more now that I'm on a little bit of a lean bulk, trying to get the, the shoulders and arms looking swole out here. So one, completely fine to kind of um, focus on one specific body part for maybe one or two days out of the week, just so that you can bring up body parts that you want to improve or weak body parts that's one way I like to do it so focusing on like the main compound exercises for three four days out of the week then one two days focusing on weak body parts that's what we're doing today shoulder and arms it's gonna be higher rep it's gonna be a lot of volume let's have a nice pump at the end of this let's get it popping so first exercise we're gonna do is four sets of 10 to 12 just standing dumbbell shoulder press let's get it Next thing we're gonna do for shoulders, we're gonna do a superset, dumbbell side raises and dumbbell front raises. It's gonna go five sets of 12 reps, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Two things. One, it's okay not to use that heavy a weight. The most important thing is that you just want to have really good form to feel your shoulders working. So even if it's 5, 10, 15 pounds, that's perfectly fine. And to get better and develop your shoulders, you don't need to go super heavy weights with these. Honestly, higher reps with good form and feeling the muscles working is perfect. And then two, you want to make sure that you are not using as much momentum with these and just trying to have your shoulders working the whole time. So trying to keep the rest of your body pretty much still driving the weights up just with your shoulders. You don't want to be swinging it too much like that. You just want to be focused right here still. Drive it up like that. But I never say goodbye or ever leave this stuff behind. All right, next thing we're doing, moving on to some arm work. With arms, I like to do supersets just because you're working different parts of your arms, obviously, if you're doing biceps and triceps. So you can go back and forth and you're not gonna be fatigued for one or the other and get better pump, just get an overall better workout. So what we're gonna do first, uh, first superset with arms is gonna be just regular dumbbell curls and then gonna go over here and superset it with overhead dumbbell, it's called French press, but just overhead extensions right here, but just with one dumbbell at a time. Gonna go back and forth, four sets of that, about 10 to 12 reps for both of these. So right here, we're gonna do 10 reps each arm, and then we're gonna go dumbbell hammer curls, just right here. Um, probably both of them at a time with those. 10 reps for both of them. So the reason we're doing both of these different kind of uh, bicep and tricep, different exercises. One, the first tricep exercise, anything overhead like this is gonna work. It's gonna work this long head of your tricep, the bigger, like meatier part of your tricep right there. And then the kickbacks are gonna work more of like the horseshoe part of your tricep right there. So I wanna work both sides, both parts of the triceps. And the same with biceps, when you're doing regular curls, it works more of like the peak right here, the inside part of it. And then when you're doing hammer curls, it works more of like the outside part right there. So that's why we're doing these two supersets, getting hitting, hitting the arms from all angles today. When it's good. Yeah. 
two supersets to close out the workout. What we're gonna do is tricep press downs right here. Again, working like that outer part of the tricep. And then we're gonna do bicep curls with the cable straight bar right here. So just three sets back and forth for about 10 to 12 reps for each of these. One more super set up for that, and then that's the workout. Let's get it, let's close it off, finish your strong. Never change my mind when it's good. Again, finishing out the workout strong right here. Got a nice pump going, feeling good. We're about to do rope hammer curl. So right here, squeeze into the top for a half second, slowly lowering it. Then we're going to go overhead tricep cable extension. So right here, kind of similar to how we did it above right here with the dumbbells. Gonna be working that long head of the tricep right here, the bigger part of it, going right here with the cables. You'll see in a second, three rounds of this, 10 to 12 reps for both of them. Let's get it. Hell of a workout, I'm feeling really good right now. Arms are, are feeling it, feeling full. These extra calories are triggering me nice on this lean bulk. Right now I'm at around 26 to 2700 calories per day. Some days it gets a little higher up to 3000, but we're gradually working it up. Um, my weight's at about, still like lower 190s, 191, 192. Don't really have any set goal of where I wanna get to with my weight, just trying to keep getting better, keep getting bigger, keep getting stronger, go from there. But great workout. Only took around like 40, 45 minutes till you keep rest times down and really like push yourself, get after it. You make a lot happen, get a really good workout in that amount of time, especially with kind of isolation, secondary muscle groups. You don't have to warm up as much for them. You kind of just get right into it, bang it out, take less rest times, have a really good workout. Uh, let me know what questions you have. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. Let me know how I can help. Let's get after it here moving forward. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.